Sherry teaches Chinese here. We have with us Sherry, aka Ma Lao Shi, and this is a very important lesson. Very important lesson. Um, what we're going to explore is negation. That's the grammatical term. So, for example, in English, I don't want something, right? I do not want something. This is not true. This person is not skinny, right? So that's an example of a negation. Now, Sherry, in Chinese, from my understanding, usually it's the word "bu," right? That's how you negate something. Yeah, "bu" is the most common sin negate word, and you just put "bu" before those verbs to form um, what is that? Uh, to form a negation. negation. Yeah, uh, examples can be uh, or Yeah. Uh, yeah. I so see. So what's, what's interesting, Sherry, is I just realized in English, you have the verb first and then you put this negation. Do, right, is the verb not, cannot, is not, you see? But in Chinese, you put the negation first. 不是, right? No is, not is, right? 不要, not want, right? So that's an interesting thing to know. You, you put the negation before your verb. Mm -hmm. And the 不 is the most, most common thing in the gate word, but there's one exception. So 有 is have, right? If you say don't have, you say 没有. You don't say 不有. There is no such way of saying 不有, but 没有, 没有 is a correct way, 没有, this one, this is one exception, yeah. I see, so if someone asks you, do you have something, remember, mm. 没有. Mm. 没有比吗? 没有, 你有钱吗? 没有. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one right now, if someone asks you, 有钱吗? do you have money, you say 没有, not 不有, but, mm. um, Sherry, technically, you could say "bu," right? Or would you not really be able to say "bu" if you just say "bu"? Not really. I, I, I guess you can't really just say "bu." If you say "bu," it sounds like you're. If you're asking, uh, you're saying no. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, A more slang way, you could say like, if you ran out of money, you could say "mela." Like if if someone's like um or something like that, you could say "mela." Mm -hmm. in, that, in, that circumstance. in that context, so you, you can negate it without having the verb, but only special cases. That's going very deep. It's a little bit more nuanced, but as long as you know male, usually you can communicate with people. Mm -hmm. Right? For example, um, if I finish my water, I can say, well, male. Right? So there's like a context where maybe we need to do another lesson to... Uh, explain mela or something like that and you know if viewers want us to do it we'll talk about that but as of this lesson just remember the negation word is bu unless you're talking about the word yo and mm -hmm. that would be me all right thank you my love <laughs>